you give the numbers, let me focus on some local prevention and control measures. As of Monday, Xi'an's health authorities say they've identified more than 100 close contacts of these confirmed cases. They've all been quarantined, and the latest test results show they are negative. The city has designated over 30 places as high infection risks and started to carry out disinfection work in those areas. Over 5,000 environmental samples have been collected and three are positive. Both Shenyang and Yinkou are speeding up their vaccination work for people aged between 18 to 59 years old. As of Monday evening, Shenyang's health authorities say over 1.5 million residents have been inoculated, which means most of the key groups of people with high infection risks among the 7.5 million residents have been vaccinated. Nearly 300 vaccination sites have been set up in the city with a daily capacity of 200,000 doses. Earlier, an expert from Tongji Medical College of Host said the earliest case may have occurred in mid-April, and most of the confirmed cases have been traced back to Yinkou. At the same time, China's top virologist Xiao Yiming believes the outbreak in China's neighboring country, India, as well as travel during the Labor Day holiday, could have contributed to this latest round. That's all for me. Back to you, Mama. All right.